Hi, this is John from MakeBetterTrades.com and I just thought it would be fun to make a really quick video that shows a lot of the tips and little different tricks and stuff with MetaTrader 4. Um, I don't want to call them secret tricks because a lot of people know this stuff already but then there's a lot of people that don't which is actually quite surprising. But when you trade long enough you, you start to figure out some of this stuff. So. Um, just want to go through a few of those here real quick. Now the first thing that people will often notice is when you go and start a new chart. Okay, so let's just pick a chart here. You get something that looks like this. Now most people know you can save yourself a template and then you can apply that template and that will um, take care of that. But I have a better method for you. Okay, so let's close that out. Let's assume that this right here is how we want our candles to look. Everything's set up just like this and we can attach whatever indicators we want to. So let's throw in like a Bill Williams for example and let's just throw that on our chart. Now if you right click and you choose template and you save it and give it the name of default which I already have one here but if you haven't done this before you won't and click save Okay, indicators, everything set up just the way it is. If I click new chart, and let's go with uh, this one here. Okay, everything's set up exactly the way as the other chart. So that's pretty neat. Now, if you have, so that's the first tip. If you have multiple charts, and let's uh, pick like, um, here, let's just open up a couple of these. Um, new chart. And we'll add like pound dollar. Okay. If you hold down your control button and click tab, you'll actually, see, take a look here, you'll cycle through these. You can also grab your tabs and move them to change their position. So, and then, yeah, control tab just takes care of that. So let's uh, close out this one and close out this one. Third tip, I'm going to get rid of this indicator. Okay, this is the euro dollar. So if you open up the navigator window or the market watch, sorry, this is euro dollar. If you grab one of these and just drop it, drag and drop it to your chart, it'll switch to that currency pair. Okay. Next tip is if you have a trade that you've taken and you want to see where it was. Now, this is um, the Aussie Yen, but this here is the Aussie CAD. I'm just going to drag it on there. It'll actually switch that chart and it right here will give me where I entered and where I exit and where my stop and my you know take profit was. So, um, and then, you know, if you don't want to switch your chart, just drag it to the appropriate uh, chart. So this one here, we can do the same thing. And that's where this trade was. EuroCAD, that's where this trade was, where my stop was and my take profit. And then here's an interesting one where it actually hit my stop that I had moved to a profitable position. And where this can really be helpful, at least for me when I'm trading is Let's say that I've moved a stop to break even plus a few pips and price pulls back. Like let's say I'm going short right here and price pulls back and takes out my stop, but I want to get back in to go short. You can just drag that, see where your entry was, wait for price to pull up just above that and then get in. So you don't even have to kind of figure out where that price was. You can see it right there on your chart. Okay, last thing. Um, Get rid of this indicator here. This is a Fibonacci tool. Or actually, I've got one other tip I want to show before, before that. Well, we can go ahead and do the Fibonacci here first. And that is you can add your price values to the end of the Fibonacci tool here simply by going Fibo Properties. And then under the feeble levels where the description is, like this number two, just put a percentage. 
and then followed by a dollar symbol and you can do the same one on this one and then hit OK and you'll see the uh, price value there on the end this is just something that can be used to measure out risk reward um, so if you're interested in, in how I have it set up like this where basically this would be your stop this is your entry on any trade and then you have a plus one risk reward you know and then a plus two reward on that trade um, this right here is push button trader that's sold over at myforexdownloads.com and that'll set up risk reward for you as well and also allow you to make trades directly from the chart instead of using the um, you know the awkward uh, trade terminal where you have to kind of determine what your lot size is going to be and all that other stuff this here will do all that for you so um, Oh, and then the last, actually the other one I wanted to show was just the chart shift. See, like when you push this button here, you'll get this little chart shift, and you can pull that off to the side to avoid um, any kind of stuff you might have here. And along with the chart shift is this little piece here, which is called fixed chart position. This is super helpful if you're back testing a particular strategy. And right here, like on this one hour chart, you want to look at this white candle on a lower time frame. What you can do is you can grab this here, this fixed chart position, pull it over to that candle, and then switch time frame. So we'll go to a 15, and see it brings it right there into perspective. And you can see the pointers right here. And then if I switch over to a 5 minute, it does the same thing. Now you'll want to make sure auto scroll is turned off before you attempt to do something like that okay so let's uh, switch back over to one hour and here's the chart shift and it just goes back to where you left it last but by default it positions itself over into the left hand corner alright so thank you and and hope you enjoyed this video